Hi, it's Fran, and we've got more Cling Rubber Stamp Sets. These are our very fun Jungle Friends, and you can see the stamps here. They're deeply etched and trimmed, and they're going to cling to your clear block. You've got a nice index on them, and we've got um, three different little characters. And then um, we also have the Cutting Die Set that all match, and you can see all of the pieces in the package like this. The ideas on the back and again I'm storing them in my um, on my magnet sheet here and I'll show you so again I'm using the stuff tainers and my mixed media white paper and the magnetic uh, panels for storage so if you want a white elephant there's not a whole lot to color if you start with your white paper but you can also um, stamp onto different colors of paper. So this makes it real easy for grays for your elephant, but you could also do your little monkeys or lion and whatever is sort of your prominent color. Um, you can do some things with that color paper and get a nice interesting look just by using different colors of paper. Here's craft or ivory, kind of the same idea. And here's a bunch where I've done um, color pencils and uh, just to make them look fluffy and furry, you can add whatever shading that you like. And you probably need extra bananas, so stamp some extra bananas so that you can work with all of that to cut out uh, the different pieces. In the, uh, the cling stamp set, you're going to have your free stencil. Whenever you see this up in the corner, be sure and uh, separate out your stencil. And this one, I've got a printout of it just so that you can see the pattern a little bit more. And so some of the pieces, the small pieces we've designed to just be already removed from the stencil, whereas all the little leaves are still in place. And before I pull them out, I figured I might as well do a little bit of work on the uh, palm tree. I can leave that there so that you can see. And again, quite often you're going to do some work off the edge. So if I put my palm tree to the side, I'm going to use my little sticky notes to cover up some of the greenery that I'm not ready to do just yet. And this gives me the freedom to work with all of my browns first and not worry about running into the rest of that. I'm going to tape it in place a little bit so that it doesn't scoot away. Let's talk about using the wafer dies. I like to have the magnetic base and you've got your clear cut panel and with each of the little dies the cut edge is right at that inside edge so you have the most visibility of how the die lines up to the imprint. So let me show you up close here. With the die for the monkey's tail, we've designed it so that it's going to cut a little spiral. And when you first pull it out, you may have to use a pin through those little holes to push it out. And the same way with the elephant's trunk. And the fun of this is that now you can um, take your little banana and um, hook it into his little tail here or into the elephant's trunk over here. So lots of fun ways to use them. I'm going to show you another way to make your own stencil of the elephant.
A sheet protector where I've trimmed away this binding edge will give me a nice little pocket to keep all of my stencil and all my other little pieces together. And by trimming away that edge, it will also tuck inside my stuffed tainer, keeping everything together. So I hope you have lots of fun stamping and cutting all of your little jungle friends to create lots of flat or popped up cards.